Good afternoon. I'm going to read a statement first, and then after which I will take your questions. This morning, two young men left Greenville High School skipping school, and they picked up two female students from the Greenville Christian School. They apparently spent several hours drinking and cruising the streets of Greenville in a 2006 blue Ford Mustang. We do not yet know if drugs were involved. At approximately 1.30 p.m., they returned with the girls to the Greenville High School. A group of four students accompanied by an adult was leaving GHS to attend a function at the Greenville Chamber of Commerce. The adult was standing on the sidewalk filming the students as they approached the GISD Suburban. A student was standing beside that adult. The Mustang entered the GHS driveway going the wrong way at a high rate of speed. The driver of the Mustang lost control and mounted the sidewalk and struck the adult and student and threw them to the pavement. The Mustang then began to roll to the right. During the roll, one boy was thrown from the Mustang. One GHS student was crushed between the Mustang and the Suburban as it rolled. The Mustang rolled several times before landing upright and coming to a stop. I will now entertain any questions. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do we know their alcohol blood content? We do not know it at this time. Because there was a fatality involved in this accident, it's mandatory to take a blood specimen. It takes several weeks to get that specimen back from the hospital. Yes. You said the driver that caused the accident was the one of the Mustang, right? That is correct. Yes. Have family members of the deceased been notified? We're still trying to accomplish that at this time. Yes, ma'am. the jaws of life used? Yes, they were. Because the Mustang rolled, it suffered severe structural damage, and they had to be used to extricate all the passengers of the vehicle. Yes. Where was the driver coming from, and were they attending a party? We do not believe they were attending a party, but they had skipped school with the intention of getting drunk. Apparently, that was a plan that had been made between them. Yes. What were the extent of the injuries to the survivors? I have a list of the injuries, if you'll give me just a moment. Okay, the driver and front passenger had no injuries. A back, and that's the past, excuse me, the driver and the front passenger of the Mustang had no injuries. A back passenger in their vehicle was killed instantly when she was thrown from the back seat into the front windshield. A male student was thrown from the back seat of the Mustang and suffered severe head trauma. The student that was struck on the sidewalk had numerous severe injuries and was flown from the scene by LifeStar. I have no update on the, that student's condition at this time. An adult died at the scene. A female student was seated in the right rear passenger seat of the Suburban. She had her leg out of the door, and when the Mustang struck the Suburban, uh, the door broke her leg. A male student was standing in the left rear passenger door of the Suburban preparing to enter the vehicle, and he was knocked to the ground during the collision, and he suffered minor injuries. A female student was crushed between the Suburban and the Mustang, and she was transported to the Hunt Memorial Hospital. I have no update on her condition at this time. Yes? Were seatbelts worn during the accident? The driver and front passenger of the Mustang were wearing their seatbelts. They suffered no injuries. The two back passengers were not. One was killed and one was severely injured. The passenger that was already seated in the Suburban did not have her seatbelt on yet because the vehicle was stationary. Yes? How old were the deceased? I have no ages at this time. I know that um, two were students, or one was a student, one was an adult. I don't have all the details yet on that. Approximately how fast were the vehicles going, and were they going in opposite directions or the same direction? The Suburban was stationary. It has not yet moved. The Mustang entered the front parking lot the wrong way. We estimate its speed at approximately 50 miles per hour. Yes. Have the students at Greenville High School and Greenville Christian School been informed of the accident? I believe that they are going to be informed by the principals of both schools. Okay, and will there be any type of counseling set up for the student? I know that both the Greenville Christian School and the Greenville High School are working together to arrange counselors. Yes. Was anyone else arrested? Yes, the front passenger of the Mustang was arrested for public intoxication. Are there any other questions? 
um, one last question. Yes, ma'am. Um, how would you recommend avoiding accidents like this one? Well, obviously, the, the reason this accident occurred was because they were drinking and driving. This would not have happened had that not taken place. And they skipped school. So I guess a combination of the both. Any other questions? Thank you very much.